What's up guys, Big Apple Airsoft here, and today we will be doing an audio recording over some pictures, and in today's episode we'll be talking about the high caps versus mid caps. Now, um, I have seen questions, what should I use, a high cap or a mid cap, and in today's video I'll be talking about the differences, pros and cons, so you guys can make an educated decision on what type of mag you want to use. Now let's get to the video. Alright guys, first off we'll talk about the mid cap, we'll start off with the cons, move on to the pros. The mid cap cons, um, it does have a low ammo capacity. This can be seen as a pro for some people who like to reload and like to have that more mill slim feel to it. Also with the low ammo capacity comes, um, you will have to carry more mags. This really shouldn't be a problem for CQB, but for those longer games for CQB or even the outdoor games, um, you will have to buy more mags and that could be a problem for some people. Also with the mid caps, um, for some people, it's kind of annoying to load them. You will have to use a speed loader and um, actually insert the BBs. Um, compared to a high cap, you just pour it in. It's a lot quicker. So with the mid cap, it does take more time to reload. Um, so that is viewed as a con for some people. Now let's move on to the pros. For the pros of the mid caps, you do have a few. Uh, the first thing is that they are very good for stealth. And this is because they do not rattle. So that's two pros there. Um, the rattling keeps you quiet, so if you do like going behind enemy lines, I would recommend using mid-caps because they will not rattle around like the mid-cap does. Also, a lot of people who have mid-caps that I know of um, like it for the realism. They like having a low ammo capacity and like having to reload, which makes it um, more realistic on the field. Also, with mid-caps, one of the pros is that if you do have a high cycle feeding gun um, with a high rate of fire, these mid-cap mags will feed much better than the high-cap mags, so it's definitely a pro for the mid-caps. Uh, now let's get on to talking about some of the features of the mid-caps. Okay, for the features of the mid-cap, on the bottom, as you can see in one of the pictures, um, there is nothing there. Um, the high-caps actually have a winding tool. The mid-cap has nothing. Also, on the top of the mid-cap mag, as you can see, um, there's no trap door there. It's just the uh, spring to release all the BBs. Also, another great thing about the mid-cap mags is that you can um, buy them one at a time, or you could buy them in packages um, 5, 8, 3. Um, these are actually great because the mid-cap mags don't hold that much ammo, so you will need more mags. And when you buy the mags in bulk, you usually get a cheaper price per mag. So that's definitely a benefit of the mid-cap. Okay, moving on to the high-cap mag. We'll start off with the cons, move on to the pros, and some of the features that the mags have. One of the cons of the high cap mag is that you will have to wind it a lot. Now with the M4 mags, you don't have to wind it as much as the AK mags. I have found that with the AK mags, some of them you have to wind a little bit more often. Um, some people, they find this is a pain. Uh, another con is that a lot of players find these high cap mags unrealistic. Um, obviously, some people care about realism more than others. And with the high caps, you do get rattling in the mag because you do have that chamber that holds all the BBs. So if you're running around a lot and trying to be stealthy, um, this probably won't work. Also, another con is that the high rate of fire of some guns, the high cap mag actually won't be able to keep up with the high rate of fire. So keep that in mind when you're buying these high caps. All right, now moving on to the pros of the high cap mag. One of the pros, and this is probably the biggest pro of the high cap mags, is that it holds a lot more ammo than the mid-caps. This is, can be seen as an advantage on the field because you are able to throw down a lot more suppressive fire and cover fire for your teammates and this is clearly an advantage because you're holding a lot more rounds than someone who has mid-cap mags. Also with high caps you do have to carry less mags on the field which makes your entire kit lighter because you do have a lot more ammo per mag. Also with the high caps is they do appeal to a lot of beginner players because they are very easy to use and they're just basic and simple. So that's really it for the pros of the high caps. Moving on to the features. Alright, moving on to the features of the high cap. One thing I forgot to mention is that the high cap mags usually are sold one at a time. You can see them in packages occasionally, but usually I see them being sold one at a time. So now for the features. As you can see from the pictures, um, on the bottom of the mags there will be a windy tool. On one of the pictures, I think there's the little hole and it has the Allen key or the key they give you in it to wind it up. So there are two ways to wind the mags up. This will get the BBs from the chamber um, into the next compartment which will feed into your gun to shoot. Also on the top of the mags, as you can see, there will be a little trap door which is used to pour the BBs 
into the mag so they can um, go into the chamber which allows a lot more BBs to be held in each mag. Um, that's really it for the features of the high cap mag. Now let's move on to my final conclusions about these mags. Alright, here are my thoughts for the high cap versus mid cap debate. Personally, if I had to pick a winner, I, I think I'm taking the mid cap. Um, I do think the high caps have a purpose. I'll get into that in a few seconds. Why I picked the mid cap is because I do like to have a little more sense of realism. Um, I don't play mil slim, so I don't have those uh, 30 round low caps. But um, I do like to have about 100 rounds per mag about. And I do like that feel of um, reloading. It makes the game feel a little bit more realistic, which uh, I just personally find to be more of my style of play. Um, also with the mid caps is they do feed a little bit better into my gun. Um, I don't have a crazy high rate of fire, but I just I like to know that um, it will feed. The high cap sometimes misfeeds. Uh, with the high cap though, I do think they have a purpose, like I said before. I think they are great for beginner players just getting into the sport or players who like to uh, spray a lot of ammo and lay down a lot of suppressive fire for their team. So in that purpose, I think you would get a high cap if you fell under one of those two categories. Uh, with the mid cap, I just personally like it more. A lot of people like the high cap. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the high cap. It's just personally, I like the mid caps. I like the little bit more realism in uh, Airsoft. Uh, that's my thoughts on the high cap versus mid cap debate. If you like the video, uh, drop us a rating. Uh, comment if you have any questions, uh, concerns, just any statements in general. And subscribe if you're new. Big Apple Airsoft here, signing off.